Hi there, Russ here from the Success Crew at Zeppelin. In this video, we're going to have a look at uploading new versions of an existing screen and adding commit messages. So we are looking at our uh, screen here, and uh, I've noticed that there's a change that needs to be made. This says user at the moment, but actually it should say profile. So what I'm going to do is just jump over into uh, Sketch, and uh, I'm going to make the change here. So on the design file, I'm going to select user and I'm going to change the copy on that to profile. And uh, when I hit enter on that, that will make the change. So I'm going to go ahead and, and save that as my new file. And I'm going to go and export that and uh, select the item that I want to export and export that into my travel website. Now, as I'm uploading a new version, it's always a good idea to enter a commit message to explain what has changed in that new version. So here in the commit message at the bottom, I'm going to say uh, changed the copy from user to profile. And that will help anyone uh, reviewing the different versions understand what changes are made. So I'm going to export that there. It'll go through the normal process of inspecting all of the artboards and the elements that I've selected in that sketch file. Once it's done that, it'll pass that through to Zeppelin and convert that into the format. It will actually compare that to the original screen and pull out those changes. So as I'm talking here, you'll notice that the word user has changed to profile. And in the bottom left corner, you'll notice the notification on the versions icon. If I click on that, then you'll see that we have the original uh, upload which was made, and I can still select that screen and see what that screen looks like. And then I can also select the new version. And as I toggle between the two, you'll notice that the, the copy changes because obviously we made that change. And you'll also notice the commit message. It's a really good practice to get into to write commit messages. If you forget at any point in time, uh, you can actually go and up Date the commit message afterwards just by clicking on the pencil icon and you can go and change that there. So that's how you go and upload new versions, add commit messages and how you see those in your screen.